Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. You may not be aware of this, but the SNP government is quite secretive. It doesn't like you knowing the truth. It doesn't like revealing what is going on, and it likes to keep everything completely secret. It does this, of course, because the truth for the SNP government is awful. It would be anathema to reveal it. They never ever tell the truth when a lie will do. And when they can't lie, they at least don't tell you anything at all. And they do this by denying freedom of information requests. Indeed, the majority of freedom of information requests are not fulfilled because they think, nah, we don't want you to know. We'll just keep this a secret. We'll just pretend it didn't happen. Or they'll just redact everything when they do reveal things. It's a culture that destroys democracy, destroys trust, and lets everyone know how awful they truly are. Because if they are unprepared to tell the truth, then you have to ask why. Well, we know why. It's because it's awful, isn't it? The real truth would destroy them. That's why they lie. But we'll take a look at this to see why so many FOI requests are just not answered either at all or in full, or at least are heavily redacted, just to make sure you never find out what is going on. Here goes. So secretive SNP ministers are presiding over a rotten culture of secrecy, as the majority of FOI responses are not answered in full. I suggest that most of them aren't answered at all. They hate answering. They hate being accountable. They absolutely loathe the fact that people have a right to know things. And so they don't tell them. They make it up and they go, oh no, uh, and then they invent uh, an inv yeah, oh, uh, information, the personal, personal information, or uh, uh, we don't hold the information centrally, or oh, that information was destroyed by accident many months ago etc. It's almost like watching Yes Minister when they, they, they try to get the information out. It's literally that bad because they know that the information that you ask for, if revealed, would show them to be corrupt, rotten, inept, stupid, ignorant, awful. The worst government ever. And so what do they do? Well, they cover it up, they hide it, they don't want you to know because you knowing would, well, you'd vote against them, wouldn't you? <laughs> Or worse, prosecute them, I suppose, for a lot of this stuff. Because a lot of what they do is shady. Anyway, the Scottish Government has been blasted by Scottish Labour over shocking new revelations about freedom of information requests. With the majority going unanswered in full, despite these vows of transparency by the Information Minister George Adam. Information Minister George Adam tells, you know, tall tales. He lies. Transparency is the one thing the SNP cannot and must not have. If they were transparent, you would see the shit. <laughs> and they don't want that. They don't want it. They can't have it. They know that those that would be booted out of office are only the lucky ones. The rest of them will be prosecuted and jailed. The secretive Scottish government has been blasted again over its handling of freedom of information requests as ministers were accused of presiding over a rotten culture of secrecy. New figures revealed that only one third of responses to the SNP executive were issued in full and on time. A third. Makes you wonder about the two thirds, doesn't it? Are the two thirds the awkward questions? Are the two thirds the ones where there's corruption, stupidity, ineptness? Are the two thirds the one that would put them in jail? Yes. Uh, those damning statistics were published just weeks after a number of prominent nationalist politicians admitted deleting their information, sorry, their informal messaging and WhatsApps during the COVID pandemic because they knew that what was on there would jail them. And correspondence unearthed by the UK COVID inquiry also showed civil servants being pestered to delete their messages with some suggestions this was being done to avoid freedom of information requests. Let's take away the word suggestions. You had the one guy come up and say that was exactly why he was told to do it. He was told, delete this, otherwise it will be subject to an FOI request. And so they started deleting them. But it wasn't uh, accidental. It wasn't in line with government policy. It was done deliberately to stop the information being revealed. It was done deliberately to keep people out of prison. 
Figures obtained by Scottish Labour showed that in 2023, the government received 4,459 of the legally mandated requests. However, just 1,434 of these were furnished with a full response within the legal timescales, meaning approximately 68% were either late, refused or redacted. And that doesn't really surprise anyone, does it? Uh, it comes just weeks after a SNP minister in charge of dealing with informal requests, also the information requests, claimed that he had presided over an improvement in the way that government handled requests. George Adam even blamed those who were making the requests for failures. Yes, he, he, he actually said it was the very fact that so many people wanted to know the truth that was causing the problem. Think about that. Oh, it's wrong. Too many of you actually want to know what's going on. Too many of you are interested in where the money's being spent, in what we are doing, in the lies that we're keeping from you. How dare you be interested in what is actually going on in your country by your elected officials? How dare you? Uh, he said, since I've been in post, he's, uh, I've made sure that we've been mo very proactive and getting as much information as possible out there to those who requested it. By as much information as possible, he means as much information that won't harm us as possible. Um, he said, will there be times where journalists and members of the public will be upset and not get information? He said, well, it's inevitable. Well, it shouldn't be inevitable. It should be very rare. Uh, it should be the norm. 95% of all information requested should be revealed. Sure, there's going to be stuff that may be for security reasons. Or it may be, what's the word, commercially sensitive. But names can be redacted. But the general gist must still be available. He says a lot of this with the FOI is a misunderstanding about what the question is actually asking. Some individuals will ask a huge ranging question that will get all the information but it'll be too much. They think that's not giving them the answer. Oh, look, and there's George Adam, gorgeous George with his spunk head. He thinks he looks cool. I think he doesn't. Uh, so he says, a lot of the time, it's just making sure we get the detail. He said, I've said to journalists in the past, explain to me exactly what you're looking for. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not his job to ask journalists what they're looking for. His job is to respond to journalists, surely. What the journalist is looking for is of no concern of his. The journalist asks for a question and says, give us this information. If you fail to give that information, we have to ask, why are you hiding it? What are you covering up, George? What are you doing that's so damn shady that you daren't tell people? Uh, anyway, he says the Scottish government does believe in openness and transparency and the band played believe it if you like. Said the Scottish Information Commissioner is also intervening in the issue, raising a level three intervention as he warned that evidence provided to the UK inquiry raises significant practice concerns. In other words, in, you know that's it. That's the political speak for there are a bunch of lying, hiding, secret toe rags who will never tell the truth unless they're put to the bloody rack. And there we go. And it's right. Secrets as though we're not surprised. We know they daren't tell the truth. They mustn't tell the truth. They have this culture, 17 years of government, where the truth must never come out. And that's a sad, sad reflection. And that is one of the main reasons, of course, you need to change the government at the next uh, Hollywood elections. Whoever goes in just releases everything for 17 years, just releases a lot and says, this is what's happened. This is what they've done. Let's look at the truth. Let's tell everybody everything. And then let the court cases begin. Coming up. They take us for fools, but we are not fools. And when we see what they're hiding or what they're refusing to tell, that is where we know that's where the bodies are buried. That's where they're being shady. That's where they've lied. They've covered up either stupidity, ignorance or corru corrupt criminality. And nobody is ever surprised about that. If I said to you that the SNP had been corrupt and, you know, done something criminal, you're not going to be staggering around going, no, that can't possibly be. You're going to go, yeah, pretty much. Because that's who they are. That's how they're seen now. They are a corrupt, rotten government of corrupt, rotten people. 
Thank you very much for watching. Do please hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video, and I'll speak to you later.